Okay guys, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and um, create an application that takes a number, puts it in a variable, takes another number, puts it in another variable from fields, adds them up, and puts them in a third field. So go ahead and create a new main stack as I did here. And we go ahead and name this window. So uh, make sure you're on this pointer. We're going to go to our property inspector here. And we're just going to call this card add card. Okay. Let's give it a little background color. Beautiful. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take two fields. So we're going to drag this on. And we're going to drag this on. Okay, here we're going to name this field just simply field 1, field 2. And the user might not know what to do, so we're going to move this down. And we're going to go ahead and put another field in here. And we're just going to simply type some text in here. Please enter in two numbers to be added and subtracted. Okay. Let's make it longer so we can fit it. Okay, there you go. All right. And if we make it disabled, um, when you go to here, you won't be able to change anything. Like here, I could go in and type. Here, I could go in and type. But here, you can't. It's disabled. So that's what we want to do. So just make sure and go ahead and make that disabled. Um, you could mess around with the, the look of it if you want. You could get rid of the border, whatever you want to do here. It's not that important. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, create another field. right here and the text we're going to put in here is number one plus number two equals and then we're going to go ahead and put another field right there and we're going to just going to control C, control V that. That's copy paste. Again, control C on my keyboard and then let go and hit control V. Let's just bring that down. And this one we're going to change to number one minus number two. Okay, there you go. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to get rid of this. Let's just delete that. Let's delete that. Now we could have a dialog window pop up where we could add numbers, but <clears throat> I don't think that's that's necessary. We also need a button here. Okay, there you go. So let's go ahead and just call this field one, which we did. Field two. We'll call this add field, and then subtract field. I think a better name for these might be first number field and second number field, but we'll just call it field one and two for now on. So that's add field and that's your subtract field. Okay, now we have to go ahead and we have to add in all the code. So right click and go to edit script. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to say uh, put field number one into, you call it X if you want, or first number, however you want to call it. We'll call it first number. Put field number two. Uh, actually, it should be called field one and field two. That's a mistake. Field one. 
field too. Let me explain why that's a mistake. Um, we're going to put the value of this field into first number. And if we look here, what is it? The name is field one. Okay. So we want to put the contents of field one into a variable called first number. Now you don't have to call this variable first number. You could call it X. You can call it whatever you'd like. I just decided to call it first number. If you want to call it X just for less typing, you could do that. And then we're going to say, actually let's call it for, I don't like calling things X because that might be reserved in other languages. Okay. Now we're going to put field two into second number. Again, these are variables <clears throat> that I just created their names. You can call them whatever you'd like. You could call them whatever you'd like. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put these fields into the, uh, into the, um, what do you call it? We're going to put these values into these fields right here, add field and subtract field. Now we're just going to basically uh, use the put command again. And we're going to put put first number plus into, I think it's called add field. Let's just check here. Add field. Okay. And we could go ahead and test this out now. Let's go ahead and apply it. No errors. And we're going to click this one. That's the run button. And we're just going to put 5 and 3. And there you go. 5 plus 3 is 8 last time I checked. We could put you know, 900. There you go. Um, now keep in mind what I didn't do in this program is the user could enter in A or B, something non-numeric. And uh, the program doesn't allow them or doesn't basically scold them for putting in bad data. Uh, that uses conditional statements, which we're not doing right now, but we will address that in the future. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the second part. So basically, you're putting first number minus second number into field subtract field. And there you go. And um, let's go ahead and test it. So here. There you go. Everything works really well. And that's, that's all I wanted you to do. So the objectives were to retrieve a number and place it in a variable. Retrieve a second number, place it in a variable. Do something with those variables and place those in a field, and then do something again with those variables, and put it in another field. So hopefully you understand what the put command does, how to use a variable, how to add two numbers together using variables, and putting it into a field. If you understand all that, the uh, next assignment should be very easy.